What's going on? It's Todd Shaw with another episode of the Sawdust Dude. Oh yeah! Hey, so you left a comment. I read those comments and you want to know how to read a tape measure. We're going to talk about that today. Stay tuned. Hey, so here we go. Before we get started, let me give a great big shout out to all my carpenter apprentice out there. You guys love this channel. You love watching the carpenter apprenticeship tip sections that I do. So this video is for you guys, and a lot of you have asked about how to read a tape measure. Also, uh, Rodney Hopkins, uh, who is a phenomenal woodworker and uh, wood carver out in Arizona, he also teaches uh, trades, and uh, he gave me a shout out about this video. And my good buddy Todd Former at White Knoll High School in South Carolina. Oh yeah, what's going on, White Knoll? Good to see you guys, and appreciate you watching. So this video is for everybody out there that wants to learn how to read a tape measure. Hey, let me say this. If I can read a tape measure, you can read a tape measure. Trust me. And this is not a math class, and this is very unorthodox way to read a tape measure. So, you know, some of my old math teachers are probably rolling over in their grave right now thinking, oh my Lord, Todd's gonna teach these people how to reduce fractions and all that stuff. No, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I figured out over the years the best way to read a tape measure for me. And hopefully in this whole big video, you can figure it out because so many of you uh, have left comments and said, you know, Todd, I'm not really good at math. Is that going to slow me down? Is that going to keep me from being a carpenter? Is that going to keep me from, from drafting? And I, I took drafting and hats off to Don All, my high school uh, drafting teacher. And I know he uh, worked with uh, Todd Fulmer as well. So Mr. All is an awesome dude. But uh, even I was that guy in class that was counting all the little sixteenths, you know, or we used to call them ticks. I was that dude years ago, okay? So I want to tell you with learning disabilities and all of all of little uh, nuances that go on in my crazy brain, uh, sometimes the um, reading the tape measure can be overwhelming. It's kind of like for me with being a little um, uh, ADD, and some other little learning disabilities that are thrown in there. Math is not my forte, it's not my thing. Also, when I, I uh, get some instructions and there's just pages and pages of words, forget it. I'm just like, squirrel, you know? I mean, my brain just goes away. So, same thing with a tape measure. You see all those little 16th marks on there, so my mind would go insane. So, I'm gonna tell you how, with learning disabilities, how I overcame those, those obstacles. And let me say this about learning dis disabilities. Don't get hung up on that, because really, most guys that are in business, uh, uh, really creative people, they all have some type of learning disability. So don't hang your hat on that. Listen, we're gonna move past that. We're gonna learn kind of like how we learn. These are little tips and tricks how to get around those things. Okay, cool. Hey, before we get started, really, uh, diving into it. One other thing that you need to really learn about yourself, because so many of you have made the comment, I'm really not a, a good uh, uh, good at math. And so, you know, there's different styles of learning. We all learn differently. And unfortunately, your school teacher can't teach, you know, uh, four or five different styles to everybody in the room. So it's up to you to learn how you learn. Uh, some of you are visual. Uh, you can watch this video and you're like all about it and you like pick it up just like that. Other guys are auditory. You can listen to somebody lecture. Uh, you could cut, take away the, uh, the video part of this and just listen to the uh, audio and you're like, you know, it's like listening to somebody give a lecture and, and you pick up on that. Uh, other people have to kind of read it and write it out and that's how they learn. And then uh, there's somebody who's uh, uh, a kinesthetic or kinetic, you learn is kind of like just this fa fancy way of saying hands-on. Well, if you're like me, I'm a little bit of both. I got a combo going on. So if uh, if I see you do it, I'm really big on watching people. And I've made this comment in the videos before. Watch to see what the carpenters around you are doing and, uh, and pick up on those things. And then when it comes to a hands-on thing, uh, you need to learn that way and you know it's kind of like a trial and error kind of thing so it's real important early on as soon as you can to, to understand your learning style okay so that's a really big tip there and so for that i would add let's right now uh, grab a piece of paper and a pencil because i want you to take notes if that's your style of learning 
uh, others of you need to, uh, you know, like uh, grab a ruler. You know, no, that's the wrong kind of ruler. Grab a ruler <laughs> like this. And that way you can see what I'm talking about and hold it in your hand or, or grab your tape measure and follow along with me so that you can see what I'm talking about. So whether you're visual or you're auditory or you're, you have to write it and, and, and read it. So we got it going on, okay? So grab whatever you need to grab. Can you add one number to another one? One plus one equals two? Yeah, cool. That's about all the math you're gonna do. Oh, except for, uh, okay, what's uh, one minus three? And that's two. That's about the extent of the math. So don't worry about compound fractions and all this other stuff, because that ain't my gig. I'm here, here to teach you, especially how to read a tape measure uh, on the construction site, or if you have a, a drafting scale. Uh, so you don't have to sit there and count, you know, 15 sixteenths. And uh, the other part of it is, I'm going to teach you a few reference points, uh, some places that you can go to the scale or to the tape measure real easily. You can find that reference point. You know what that number is, and you can add one to it, or you can take one away. And so that'll just kind of speed up the process. All right. To that, but the first step, the first level that you need to know, these are called sixteenths. Now there is another measurement in between, but most carpentry or drafting, you won't use a 32nd, maybe some extremely fine woodworking, you may, uh, but I don't know many guys who go down to a, 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 um, a 30 seconds, unless you're some kind of machining a part where there's real, really, really tight tolerances, and then drafting, you know, that's just a whole nother, another level there. But when we're talking about a residential construction or commercial construction, we're talking about uh, the imperial scale, uh, the standard scale, and it's made of 16 sixteenths. Okay, so we're gonna stick this on our board up here. And uh, so you can follow along. And, and how else would the sawdust do, do it, right? You, you need a gun, right? So we'll put that out there really well. All right, so we're looking here at, uh, at 16 sixteenths. And so it goes from zero all the way to 16. And 16, when you have 16 parts, 16 sixteenths, that'll make a one, okay? So, or as you go up the scale. But here's what I was talking about. You only have to know a couple reference points. And then I said, we're gonna add a couple numbers or subtract a couple numbers. When it comes to the sixteenths, this is all I want you to know. Let me find my marker. It's the one right here in the middle. All right, somebody out there, type it in the comments below. What's half a sixteen, okay? And let me say this, let me pause, let me stop. I'm 61 years old. I'll be 62 this August. Dang, I know, I'm old, right? I still, to this date, 2024, yeah, that's the right year, I don't know my times tables. There, I said it. I hang my hat in shame. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I am incapable of learning the time ta times tables. I, hip I can't even say it, okay? But it's okay. Remember when I said you have learning disabilities? You learn how to adapt and overcome. Hoorah. So here we go. Half a 16 is eight. That's simple. And, and, and I remember that, okay? And that eight right there is in the middle. This one down here, remember that's 15 to 16. The most common mistakes in carpentry involve the 16ths. Okay, just so you know, heads up. So if you're learning, guess what you're gonna focus on? The sixteenths, okay? Let me write this up here. The sixteenths. That's what you need to do. Let me write that so everybody can see. Sixteenths. That's what you're going to focus on because I'm going to tell you the most common mistakes is when you get over here to uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sixteenths. Here's the big one. Uh, seven sixteenths and nine sixteenths. And then over here to uh, 13 sixteenths, okay? And sometimes even 15 sixteenths. Remember, when I told you all you had to do was do a little adding and a little subtracting. So if I know 7 sixteenths is a problem, when I said there's 16 sixteenths and I ask you to remember what? One reference point, and that was 8. So if you need 7 sixteenths, or if my, I'm reading a tape measure uh, and I've got a board that is only, that comes to this mark right here. Well, if I know that's eight, eight minus one, 
is what? Seven. That's right. See how simple that was? And that's one of the most common mistakes. The other one is this. When a board comes over here, and the dude's sitting there, and they're going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and everybody on the job site screaming at you. That's taking way too long. Time is money. Money's time. So, what's, what's a lot quicker? Eight plus one. Boom. Nine. Nine sixteenths. That's what you need, boss. See there? If you remember that one reference point right there, so you do a little subtracting that comes down to, down to here. 16, 15, 14, well, that would be a 13. If my board was over here, I know that's 13. It takes a lot less time to subtract 3 than it does to count 13. So I know that's 8 halfway. Minus 1 is 7. Plus 1 is 9. See, that's how you navigate the 16th. Master this first, okay? Because that's where most guys run into problems on the job site. Sitting there counting 15, 16. Oh, come on. Just minus one. But if you're like me, you're OCD or you're a little ADD, you look at all those numbers and you got the pressure of somebody going, hey man, what, what's that measurement? And you're like, uh, uh, uh. You get all nervous. Take your time. Take a breath. It'll be all right. Halfway. Minus one, plus one. That's all you got to do. Sixteen sixteenths. Write that down on your little paper there. Halfway. Come on, I know that. It's eight. But you know what? I learned that. So learn this. Spend time reading your tape measure, okay? So uh, go ahead and let's grab. Well, let me find one in my shop here. Go ahead and grab your tape measure and get a visual on that. And you see all those little lines up there. And this is a worn out tape measure. Maybe you can't see all those little lines. And stick around to the end because I got some more tips for you. But so start practicing. And there's a little test online of how to read a tape measure. And they'll give you some, some uh, measurements and you got to write in the answer. Okay. So that's step one. All right. So here's our next uh, baseboard measurement. Notice we still got the green marks. And now we got some blue marks thrown in there. And these blue marks are the next highest marks above the 16th. These are called eights. And just like the sixteenths, how there's sixteen sixteenths in, in an inch, guess what? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight eighths in an inch. All right? Just memorization. I'm staying away from math. Two sixteenths, make an, make an eighth. Two green lines, make a blue line. That's where blue lines come from, green lines. <laughs> yeah, so... There we go. A sixteenth and a sixteenth. That's an eighth. Now, let's stick this up here on the board. So you can get a comparison look. There we go. So we're up here. We got we got our we got our eighths now. And we remember we've got eight eighths. Alright. There's eight of them. Eight eighths in an inch. And so Half of eight is what? Oh, yeah. That's another tough one. Yeah. That'd be four. Now, here's the good news about eights. You're only going to have to remember four of them out of eight. You just got to remember half of them because these other ones are going to turn into something else. So, I need to remember one, one eighth, two sixteenth is an eight. I hear voices. So, right here, we have one-eighth. This next one's going to turn into something else. So, we got one, two, three. We have three-eighths. There's four-eighths. That's going to turn into something else. Then over here, we got five-eighths. Because if you can remember, here we go once again. What's uh, one minus four? That'll be three. What's one plus four? That'll be five. Okay, then we got six, that'll be something else. And then we got seven eighths. And over here is eight eighths. Remember, we're just going to use the odd number ones when it comes to eights. So there's eight eighths, half a half a eight is four. Alright, so everybody tracking with me so far? You got one eighth. You got three eighths. Five eighths and seven eighths. If you lose track of that, you know you can always you know, count up. 
but it's pretty easy if you just remember four. Okay? No. Starting at one is one. If that's eight, that's going to be seven, right? And so just, it's a little memorization and reference points. I'm going to use zero, halfway, four in this case, and, and eight. It's going to be minus one, or it's going to be plus one, minus one. I'm going to add here. And like I said, in the middle, here, you only need to know the odd numbers. So usually the, uh, the eights is not a problem. This is the problem with the sixteenths. But as we go up to a full tape measure, there's going to be less of these. But you just got to remember eight on that, right? Or sixteen. We're good. Keep taking those notes. Leave a comment below if you have a question. I'll be glad to answer. And this is what you'll use when you use the imperial or the standard system. It'll look just like this. You got sixteenths, you got eight, you got another sixteenth, and then we got a new little buddy here. We got these red lines. Good news is there's only three of them, really four, but you'll only see three. So let's take a look at what we have here. All right, so we got sixteenths. We have eights. We've introduced a new friend. And then the final level, it's like building a house. Here you got the top floor, you got the roof. And this is a full blown scale. And now <clears throat> we're going to add, add a fourth, fourth in here. And these will be shown by the red lines. So you got zero. Then you got right here is one quarter. Just like a dollar bill we have in the United States, just like a dollar bill, four quarters make a dollar, right? Okay, guess what? Halfway, holy smokes, we call it halfway. If you're an engineering scale, that's 0.5. So you got one quarter, you got halfway, you add another quarter, you got 50 cents, you add another quarter, you got 75, that's another engineering scale number. But when we do it in an imperial system, 0.75 is also three quarters. And then over here, that'll be fourth quarter. And then the game's over, right? Just like in, in sports. All right. So you got a quarter, you got halfway, you got three quarters. Now notice here, two eighths make a quarter. I'm not teaching you math. I'm not telling you to add or reduce fractions. I'm just telling you, these are things that you have to memorize. All right. So <clears throat> two eighths, remember down here, Here's that eighth line. That turns into a quarter. Remember I said you didn't have to remember that because that would have been, that would have been a two eighths. Yeah. Well, you don't call it two eighths. You call it one quarter, all right? And that's where the math comes in about reducing fractions. So you got sixteenths, you got an eighth, and then you got quarters. The quarters are super simple to uh, memorize. Virtually nobody you know, forget C's, okay? They're the longest numbers on your tape measure or on your ruler. So it's a quarter, a half, and three quarters. And that All right, guys, let me show you some tape measures here, especially if you're in construction work and you're gonna use a tape measure that looks something like this. I mean, walk here, I got the old faithful De DeWalt here. Uh, and, and your crew will tell you, hey, you need a 35 or a 25. I always love the 25 just because they're a little bit lighter. Uh, and you always wanna have two tape measures on the job site. Um, just to, in case if you drop one or, or the tape breaks on, on the other one. If you look at this uh, tape measure here, you can re see real easy. It's got the sixteenths, it's got eights, and it's got a, uh, and the quarters on it, okay? So <clears throat> that's what a typical tape measure looks like. Uh, and so you'll need to memorize, you know, those reference points. Halfway is eight or halfway is four. And then so you, whether you're reading sixteenths, eights, or quarters, you'll know how to read a tape measure. Now, here's something that I use on a regular basis. This is the DeWalt version. Excuse me, it is extremely beat up. <clears throat> Let me get down here to where there's some good marks on it. Look at this tape, tape measure here. Notice the top of it has got, has got regular marks on it. And on the bottom, it's got reference points. And some guys call this a cheater tape. You know what? I call it working smart and not hard. All right, so anyway, so check that out. So that's a, a little extra tip for you there. Another thing on a, on a tape measure, 
don't get your feelings hurt, but if somebody hands you a tape measure, this down, this end down here has a name, it has a proper name, but on the job site, it's called the dumb end. And they go here, take the dumb end and go down there. Why? Because if you can't read the tape measure, they give you the dumb end. That, nah. You know, that takes years of therapy to get over that. <laughs> Learn how to read the tape measure. Oh yeah, well listen, hey guys, I appreciate you watching another episode of the Sawdust Dude. It's been great hanging out with you. And remember, better skills for better results. Work on reading that tape measure and guess what? Oh yeah, I'll see you real soon.